Week 1 of the SPL is upon us as the new Thunderclap Titans are taking on the returning Florida Gators. A supposed fresh matchup that represents a new beginning for both sides. And while that may be partially true, it goes far beyond. For this is a man that I faced twice, with both encounters having a massive asterisk. The first time around, I got pretty lucky. Due to certain turns going my way, I was able to win cementing my playoff spot, which at that time was my biggest victory. However, Fate decided to play another card, as he was my first playoff opponent. A match of the ages it was, although as we reached the end, my back was against the corner, and I had an out. Should I or should I not timer stop? In the end, my conscience won out, and he beat me fair and square, ending what at that time was my greatest run. And now here we are, in the biggest draft league season of modern time, with expectations that I must fulfill, as we're on the road to finally finishing the story. So when it's all said and done, you Gator should start looking at your clock, because now it's Ryan time! Ah! Starting off, we got our ace, Dragon Fang Dragapult, with Dragon Darts, Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, and U-Turn. You may be wondering what this set is about, the Dawn Sparks, a nuisance to my squad based on it being either physically defensive or specially defensive. However, it cannot be both, and that's exactly where this set and the Fang comes in. With the combination of a Draco Meteor into darts, I will be able to beat this thing 1v1, meaning that Gator won't be able to have any switch-ins for this monster. Offensively, this Pokemon has a phenomenal matchup against them and even enables me to run Adamant which only bodes well for yours truly. U-Turn in general is great for momentum, with the upside of doing over half to Hisuian Samurod and straight up killing his Zarude after rocks. To continue this offensive core, we got Choice Bandit Azumarill with Aqua Jet, Play Rough, Liquidation, and Knockoff. When building, I realized how well this offensively matches against his squad, before it was Assault Fist. But the Choice Band just takes things to a whole new level, as almost everything with the exception of physically defensive Belly Bolt gets two-shotted by this thing. This investment also ensures that Specs Hydro Pump from Keldeo is always going to be at 3-8k on me, even after Spikes. Next up, we got Terra Electric Bulky Light Clay Rotom Fan with Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Light Screen, and Air Slash. This was a late addition to the squad, but Gator has a lot of specially offensive threats like Goldengo and Iron Mon many of which I struggle to switch into. The getting up a light screen really helps in taking the pressure off against it. Not to mention how with Terra Electric, I don't actually need much EV investment to 2-hit KO Goldengo with Thunderbolt. Once again, this game very much depends on the prospect of positioning in itself. And Rotom very much offers just that in all three modes. Offense, Defense, and Pivot. Halfway through this, and it's very evident to me that I need Hazard Removal. Especially for a squad that has free spikes like Isui and Samurai. Insert Pasho Berry, Iron Treads with Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, Earthquake, and Iron Man. There's really not much to say about this Pokemon other than the fact that it can keep hazards off my side of the field should it come down to that. I also think that from a defensive standpoint, Grounded Steel matches so well against them it's not even funny. This set was a last second addition made based on the threat of Isui and Samurai. Of course, with how this squad is going, I don't exactly have the best answers to Goldengo or Iron Mod. Something that I'm going to fix right now with Assault Vest Chi Yu, hacking the Overheat, Psychic, Dark Pulse, and Flame Tower. This may seem like an odd choice, but this Pokemon can safely switch into both of Goldengo's stabs as well as his Iron Mod. Spec Sludge Wave is a 3 hit KO against it. Not to mention that when it comes down to Chi Yu, you don't exactly need to run a lot of investment to do insane damage. And in that regard, that's what makes it a massively good fit here. Last but not least, we got the debuting Heavy Duty Boots Okie Dogi with Drain Punch, Knock Off, Jab, and Evil MV's Fabled Rock Boot. This Pokemon mainly exists to do two things, reliably check Zarude and his Isuian Samurai. I think Okie Dogi's offensive and defensive stats make it a great fit in this matchup, along with the fact that it has one of the most broken abilities in the game via Toxic Chain. And Rock Tomb is just a nice middle ground move to click in general because should he try pivoting with his Iron Moth or Dango, I'll be able to outspeed them the next turn and knock them out with any move. So yeah, that's the team. If you're enjoying this video, please do drop a like and subscribe as I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. 
and I can only do that through all your lovely support. Huge shout outs and thanks go to my friends Addison, Hi Man, SKC, TJ, Maverick Shooters, and Azuri for all this help. And without further ado, let us move on to the game. Alright guys, we are back right now, ready to go against our guy, it's Gator and the Florida Gators, yes I'm gonna still call it that, and without further ado, let us see exactly the team that he brought. Why is there a star after? <laughs> okay, so he actually brought the star after, which is something I did not expect at all, if I'm being completely honest. There's no Keldeo, which is uh, pretty good I suppose, but yeah, this matchup is already going to be a tough, uh, like, a tough part for me to overcome, because... I did not expect a lot of the pieces that he brought, specifically the Raptor and whatnot. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna lead off with my Addison and see exactly and, and pray that everything th works out just fine, okay? <laughs> oh no. Alright. Without further ado, let us see exactly how this match goes. This is Gator's first match back in like, what, five or six years? I don't know, but it's still Gator, so I am not gonna overlook him whatsoever. Yeah, there's no Iron Moth. Why didn't I start off with my Rotom? I'm already choking. Whoops. Alright, so he's gonna lead off with this Freyda Star Raptor. Yep, I had a feeling. <laughs> he's gonna lead off with this Raptor as turn one. Do I make it go blow for blow is the question. I mean, I kind of have no choice now, do I? The good thing is, like, Star Raptor, Brave Bird, and whatever, it's not gonna knock me out unless this dude is, like, uh, Choice Bandit AF. And also, I could just go out in my Metal Face, to be honest. This is one of my few answers to a lot of his pieces. Yeah, I'd rather it not get chipped down uh, if I can help it. So I'm gonna actually go out in my metal face, which probably was not. I don't know. Uh, obviously, from the from the get go, I'm kind of on the back foot here, which is not fun. But let's see how this goes. Okay. Yep, he's gonna click Brave Bird. Oh shit. Okay. So that is that did nearly half, which is so crazy to me. No, 53 percent. Yeah, this thing looks choice banded. In no way would have done anything. Uh, in no way would have done anything else if it was not choice banded AF. So, with that in mind, I am going to. You could either. I, I could. I could just either set my stealth rocks up or just go straight for an iron head. And honestly, I'm an iron head. But yeah, this thing. This raptor is banded. Ain't no way would do, you do the amount of damage you would do otherwise. I refuse to believe that. Yep, out comes the dog van. As I'm gonna get some really nice chip damage off on this thing, as he's gonna reveal to be leftovers, which is pretty sick. It is pretty sick in the sense that what I can do now is essentially, yeah, yeah I keep banging against my fucking house. Why don't you? <laughs> uh, what I can do now is pretty much ensure that this thing is in range for, or is in range of an uh, of a liquidation from my Azumarill. But yeah, uh, good lead on Gator's behalf. I definitely think I made the wrong play because Rotom Fan uh, with no Iron Moth was definitely the lead there, but hindsight is 2020. I'm gonna go out in my Juniper because while. Yeah, this, uh, this Bandit Raptor is gonna be a problem for sure. <laughs> oh god. Right. He's gonna set up his rocks. Yep, makes sense, makes sense. As right now, what I am going to do is essentially. Yeah, I guess I can just Air Slash to be honest. I could Air Slash, or alternatively, I could just go for a Volt Switch, which would then be, uh, allow me to bring in my Chiyu, because I'd assume that his Belly Bolt is going to want to come in right now. I'm gonna play Volt Switch. Go on in your Belly Bolt, sir. Please. Yeah, he's gonna sw switch out. Cool, 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 cool. As, since I am not exactly, you know, he's uh, gonna go out his Dango. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I should just terrestrialize there. Yeah, why didn't I terrestrialize? Matt, bro, what is going on today? <laughs> oh no. The jitters are getting to me, guys. I don't know. I, I like, that was... Just Volt Switching was definitely the play there. So, I don't know what I was do doing with, the, with that play, but... Yeah. Uh, here, I am going to essentially just... Pop something with the, with the, with the overheat. I assume that Sam is gonna want to come in. That I feel makes the most sense here. And with my special defense and me being calm nature and assault vest, you don't kill me, sir. Yeah, you don't kill me under uh, under any circumstance. So, yeah, I am going. To, he's gonna go out in his Ranga. Who are, who's who's this Ranga? Yep, he's gonna go out in his Sui and Samurai. Mhm. Mm that is AVS fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. 
Oh no 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 no. <laughs> okay. I could go out in my Rhine, but Addison is literally the most offensive play I could make right now. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing like here and now. I do, I do think that a Seasless Edge is very likely going to come out here though. Which is why I'm going to go hard in my Addison. And I have like lots of defense investment as it is, so yeah. As he is going to click Seasless Edge, makes sense. Uh-huh. Set them all up, why don't you? <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's fine. Here, I'm just I'm just gonna click play rough. That is quite literally the freest play for me to engage in right now. And let's see exactly what happens, I suppose. But yeah, like Gator is playing the uh, playing the early game really really well, and I'm making oversights that I honestly shouldn't, cause you know there's no reason for me to not terrestrialize and everything uh, with my Rotom, which would have done like so much more damage to the Dengo. But it is what it is, as they all say. As yeah, play rough. I'm I'm gonna have to click play rough. I don't know. Okay, he's gonna click flip turn. Gator's playing well though. I can't you know. I can't hate on my guy for that. <laughs> Rimuru. Rimuru. I'm... Okay, yeah, out comes this fat piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, so... Is he gonna get a static, sir? No, he's not gonna get a static. Thank God for that. As what... Yeah, th th he is offensively pressuring me here. And I'm not sure... I don't think I'm a... Uh, I don't think I'm a huge fan of that, personally. But in this situation... The thing is, he can just click Volt Switch, right? And I don't think I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go out in my Ocelot. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, I should've just gone in my Rotom or something. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of winging it. But I definitely think, like, uh, I'm not playing the early game the best. For sure. Because he's getting all this, you know, offensive pressure off on me. With spikes and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, things ain't looking too hot. Not, uh, uh, as unfortunate as it is. And he's gonna be able to get all that recovery back in the world right now. But here, I think I want to... I can't click U-turn because there's this thing, there's a chance that he could, he could have static with them. So with that in mind, I'm going to click Draco. With me getting the lead wrong in itself, that, is not exa that isn't exactly a good thing for me. But yeah, he's going to stay in. So this Draco Meteor is going to do a very decent chunk, which is, which is something I really like. Because while he is going to get a Volt Switch off, his... This thing is no longer going to be a switch in for Twice Bandit Azumarill, which I think is like absolutely fucking phenomenal. To get myself back into this game, I A, either have to remove hazards, or make sure that this Dawn fan ends up pushing up daisies. But yes, out comes this Whimsicott and... Out cut, and I have absolutely no reason to stay in here. I don't think I have much of a reason to stay in here, but I'm still gonna click U-turn anyways. Which is probably the worst play I could have possibly made. <laughs> oh gosh. Are you, are you gonna be the Terra though? That's my question. Because Terra Fairy Whimsicott isn't actually the worst shout in this matchup. Okay then. <sighs> yep. I'm gonna U-turn out and I'm gonna get some very decent junk, uh, very decent damage off on this thing. As what I'm going to do right now, since he didn't Terra, I do feel a bit more secure going out into my Rotom fan. Or Juniper, as they say. Alternatively, I could just go out in my GU. But I'm gonna take, you know, one round of Stealth Rocks and one round of Spikes. Which is something I'm not a, not exactly a huge fan of. I mean, at this point, I kinda don't have a choice but to go out in my Juniper now, do I? Yeah, probably not. And the fault is entirely in my own, guys. Because, ah oh man, if, if I just stare up there, I don't know why, why I didn't. <laughs> I just took all this damage for no reason. It sucks. And that is specs as all hell. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this match is not going my way. Yeah, I don't know what else I can do. Uh, truthfully. Maybe you'll want to switch out? That thing looks specs to me, if I, I think. But going by the fact that I'm the one terrestrializing first, this is uh, like he's, he, he's, he's probably going to stay in, isn't he? <laughs> Oh gosh. Uh huh. Oh boy. Yeah, the, you are specs. I, I I don't think you could be any other plausible set other than specs. 
but yeah uh this is not my best display through in the first week guys so i'm just saying in advance i'm, pretty, uh, I'm sorry but i am going to try to bounce back in the future weeks that is in its that i can very much assure you but yes as of this moment in time i am going to set up my stealth rocks because I think you. Uh, I think you're better off being pressured a bit. <laughs> oh gosh, Whimsicott is likely going to swap out here. I would imagine, but it's good to know that you are likely specs here, because otherwise you would not have done the. Da okay, buddy. <laughs> what the? What are you gonna terrestrialize into? Yep, Terra Fairy. That makes so much sense, honestly. That generally makes a lot of sense for uh, sense here, as he is likely going to be able to pick me off now with a uh, uh, with a moonblast. Do I do I die? I do die. Well, shit. Yeah, uh, I'm not. Yeah, this is uh, this is this ain't good at all. I uh, uh, there's nobody there's nobody here to blame for this but myself. So my bad, guys. Generally, but nah. Uh, real recognizes real. And Gator is just Gator is just playing crazy good at this point. So there is not much else for me to say here other than well fucking done, my my good sir. And yeah. Can Zed sur sur survive this though? That's my question. Let's see how this goes. He says as he's about to lose this as, as he's as he's getting like absolutely smashed. Yeah. Yeah, my prep was just not uh, my prep was just not good this week, guys. Which is completely on me, cause like look at how well this samurai is taking the hit. He's taking the hit so ridiculously well, it's not even funny. And there is hardly much I can do about this. May as well have may as well try to not get six out, I guess. I really think that with me getting the lead run, it very much caused this uh, caused this match to not go the way I initially thought it would but hey if uh, if that's you know the current as uh, current level I'm currently at right now I just have to get better so yeah it's not flip turn great play it definitely ain't looking too good I I, I honestly you know uh, thought about the prospect of choice specs choice specs whimsicott but that is something that you know I never really respected as much as I should have but he's going to get a kill right now and there's hardly much I can do about it. Mm-hmm. So yes, kill off my Chiyu, sir. Kill it off, as they say. Yeah. It is what it is, you know. We'll learn. I'll get better. But yeah, I'm gonna sack off my Chiyu at this point. As he's gonna click Brave Bird and he's gonna knock me out. Cool, 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 cool. As right now, I would assume that what I gotta do here, fuck my teeth hurts, uh, is go out into my ocelot. Yeah, take uh, take all this fucking damage for no reason. Why don't ya? Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I'm gonna click dragon darts. He's gonna swap out. Who's gonna go into those? The question. What's it called? Ranga. Oh, it's this thing. Okay, cool. So, I'll at least it, it won't be a 6-0, guys. Woohoo! It's not a 6-0. But yeah, down goes the uh, down goes the samurai. As right now, yeah, my uh, like I don't think I, I don't think I'm winning this one. Azumara lead was there because in case he had Iron Moth, but he did not have Iron Moth here. So the fact that I let off with this thing is uh, was very much you know a completely unneeded thing from my end, but. Yeah, as of this moment in time, I'd assume that you're choice scarfed, aren't you, sir? And my answer to this is basically Okidogi eating a head. I guess I have to sack my Azu. I mean, Azu's not doing anything anymore. So, yeah, my play is to sack this thing off right now. Go out in my Rhine and see, see if I can make something happen, you know? Regardless, this is all completely on me, guys. Uh... Again, no no discredit whatsoever to Gator. He's his prep has been generally great. I, I'm really uh, the, the fact that he's you know adapting so fastly back into this uh, back into this game is something that I consider to be absolutely uh, nothing short of phenomenal in itself. So 
Huge shout out to it, like huge props to my guy here for sure. But yes, as of now, I have no other play but to click knock. I'm assuming he'd want to go out into his Dawn Fan or some shit, but at worst, I'm going to try to go for a 4 0 or maybe a 3 0. A 4 0 or a 3 0 loss because I don't see myself winning this one. But we're going we're gonna to get better, guys. Okay, so he's going to stay in with this Clayman. So it won't be. Uh, okay, that, that's going to do way too much, but Knockoff is going to pick this thing off, I'm pretty sure. Cool. Knockoff is going to pick this thing off, which is pretty sick. As he is going to bring out who now is the question, I am not sure. You are indeed choice carved as they get. That much is for certain. Alright, so he's gonna go out in his Whimsicott. And as of this moment, I think I just lose. Because I, yeah. Mm hmm. He's gonna go for a Terra Moonblast. But honestly, good shoutouts, uh, good shouts on him bringing, you know, choice specs Whimsicott here, because it is something I considered in passing, but didn't really respect all too much. So yeah, unless I get a crit with my Ocelot, this is going to be a 4-0 loss. So with this one final Shadow Ball, it is time for us to, bid a, uh, to you know, part ways as... Yeah, I don't think that's going to kill. If it does, I'll be surprised. Nope, it doesn't. Whoopsie daisy. So the GG to my boy, uh, GG to my boy Gator. I think he gen he just put me on the back foot early on really well, and I really liked his prep with you know pressuring me early on with the star after like that. Choice ban and all that kind of stuff was very was very well implemented on his behalf. And while I will say that I did not play to, to the best of my abilities this game, this was a very this was a great learning experience, and I'm definitely gonna try much more harder in the future weeks. Trust me when I say this isn't the end. This is just the beginning. And yeah, do check my guy out. Amazing card. Like, do check my guy out. No, nah, do check my guy out. I'm really happy to see him back in Pokemon content creation. And I'm excited to see exactly where things go on from there. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a glorious day. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Wish.